G'day everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day or a nice night. It's Friday here in Australia and I'm back home again now from our local food pantry and I've got another food pantry haul to share with you. If you're new to my videos, we're a family of four that live in Queensland, Australia and for the last little while we've been going along on Fridays to a church run food pantry in our local area here. It's one where you pay $10 and they give you a box of grocery items and along with the box of groceries, uh, there's usually things like a loaf of bread, sometimes there's eggs, uh, usually a selection of fruit and vegetables, depending on what's in season and what's been donated. Uh, there is also usually some type of cold or frozen item as well. Now, you don't get to pick what goes in the box of groceries. It's what's given to you. You can pick which box of groceries um, you want when you go along past there's a series of tables where they have it set out so you can choose which box of groceries out of the different boxes they've got prepared and you do have the option of saying yes and no to the other items as you go along past the different volunteers who offer you different things to go with the groceries so I'll show you what I got this Friday it's always a big help no matter what we get and I find it's always great value for the ten dollars you pay now this particular food pantry is open to anybody in my local area that needs a helping hand. Anyone's able to go along. So I'll show you what I was fortunate to be given today. Uh, first of all, in the box of groceries, I got a bag of spiral pasta, which is fantastic. They seem to give you pasta most weeks, which is always helpful. There's a packet of spaghetti as well. And we got given a kilogram bag of white long grain rice this week. Again, super helpful. Uh, the snack items this week, we've got some cheese flavoured rice crackers. These ones are really nice. We had them a couple of weeks ago. So that's good to get them again. And there's a packet of chicken flavour instant noodles. These are a bit like two minute noodles. They're actually quite nice. There's a couple of different uh, sachets of flavour base in it. I've been adding extra veggies to it to turn it into a bit more of a meal. And we're super lucky in the box today to get some cranberry sauce, which is fantastic. We don't very often get things like spreads or jams, so I love it when we get things like this. To buy um, jams from the supermarket at the moment it's a little bit out of my budget most of the time, so... Yeah, really awesome. I'll probably use this uh, cranberry sauce on uh, sandwiches, I think. Uh, there is also some Vegemite. We seem to get Vegemite most weeks, so that's always handy. We love our Vegemite. And there's a can of whole peel tomatoes. Can of baked beans. Again, always fantastic to get some beans. And some mixed vegetables, peas, carrots and corns. <laughs> Always makes me laugh when they say corns. And a can of four bean mix. How awesome is that? I might be able to make some more of my pasta salad. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above for you. And there's a can of spaghetti as well. So that was all the canned items. There is also another packet of this butter chicken recipe base, which is awesome. And this week they had, they're like little, we call them in Australia poppers. <laughs> they're little tiny cartons of full cream pure milk. And these ones have a straw on them as well. So you can just drink them like a juice box, I suppose. So I got given two of those. Uh, there is also over here, to go with the breakfast cereal, some almond milk that we got. One litre long life or shelf stable bottle. So there's two almond milks there. Oh, and before I get to the cereal, look what else we got given this week. We got a bottle of apple cider vinegar. How cool is that? Vinegar is always useful for many different things. My mum actually used to take, when I was a kid, a small spoonful of it in water in the morning um, as like a health elixir as it like it for medicinal benefits maybe I should start doing that too perhaps <laughs> what would you use this for 
I know you can just use it in cooking, I suppose, and maybe preserving things. Still in date, so I thought that was really awesome to get. And the cereal we got then this week is some more of these Uncle Toby's Cheerios, uh, vanilla O's. These were quite nice last week. I didn't mind them, and the kids like them too. And there's a fair bit in the box. It's over half a kilogram, so it does last a few mornings at least. So that's nice to get them again. Uh, there is also some more of these sourdough crackers, multigrain ones, which is great. And we've got some biscuits here this week as well. We've got some cream wafers, uh, strawberry flavoured ones, and some custard cream biscuits as well. Some of these might be handy to put aside, I think, for next week for when my kids go back to school. Uh, there is also some chicken noodle soup. We've got a four pack of that. And this week they didn't have any ready meals like we've been getting most weeks. Uh, they just had some frozen meat sausages or beef sausages. These ones were some that the lady at the food pantry, she did actually say, uh, got from a local butcher. So there's, I think there's four on each packet. She's given me two lots. So that'll be super helpful. And the loaf of bread today was a light rye, which looks lovely. A nice sandwich loaf. And in the fruit and veggie department this week, we got two wedges of pumpkin this week. This is Kent pumpkin. And we got given four onions. Uh, there's a couple little sweet potatoes and about five washed potatoes. There's a couple very gnarly looking oranges. I'm sure they're delicious on the inside. I think these are homegrown ones. And this one's a bush lemon. We've got a, another bush lemon. And we've got some local bananas. These are from a fruit farm in our area here that donates to the food pantry. These are little ladyfinger bananas. And obviously they're too green to eat at the moment, but it's really warm at the moment here. So if I just leave these sit out on the kitchen bench, it won't be long before they're ready to eat. Hopefully about a week's time we should be able to eat those. Uh, there is also some carrots. We've got four carrots. And some more of the chocolate pudding fruit or the black sapote. And this one, oh, <laughs> you'll see, actually got squashed in the bag on the ride home in the car. So you can see what it looks like on the inside. It's incredible. It actually does taste like chocolate pudding. So they call it chocolate pudding fruit or black sapote. So there's three really ripe ones and these two here are not ready to eat yet. They're too green. And last but not least, there's five lovely tomatoes. So yes, here's everything now that I got for $10 from the local food pantry this Friday. It's such a fantastic help to get what we do. Really make a big difference with the food budget this week. But stick around, don't go yet. I've actually got a small grocery haul to show you this week as well. I know I quite often get asked what we actually buy from the supermarket and is it just what we get from the food bank? Is that the only food that we use? Um, the answer is yes and no. <laughs> most times, most weeks, I only have been able to afford to spend the $10 on the Friday and lately I've been fortunate enough to be able to get the $5 coal bag on the Thursday and whatever bread's going either on the Tuesday or the Thursday. Uh, at times, though, I do have to buy different things. Um, there's not enough from what we get from the food bank or food pantry to completely feed us and sustain a family of four. As you can imagine, there's a few things that are, are missing, a few gaps. Uh, this week, I was actually lucky. Thank you so much to those of you who have actually bought me a coffee. I really appreciate it. I've I actually was able to go to the supermarket and use some of my buy me a coffee money to get a few extra pantry staples. So I'll show you what I got and what I picked up. Um, most times it's usually what I get from the food bank or food pantry, um, what I spend money on most weeks. Occasionally I will buy other stuff like uh, toiletry items or 
things like oil, cooking oil, maybe um, laundry soap, stuff like that. Uh, so sometimes we might spend anywhere from $5 to $50 at the supermarket, but it's not a regular thing. We're on a limited income at the moment, so we really have to be careful um, and watch every cent <laughs> at the moment uh, to literally make ends meet. But yeah, I'll show you what I got today. So I'll give you a closer look now what I also picked up from the local supermarket in my area. This is all from Coles. So I've got a small grocery haul here that I was very fortunate enough to get this week um, using some of my buy me a coffee money. Thank you to all of you who've been kind enough to help out my family. I really appreciate it. And I'll show you everything I got now. A lot of it is just pantry staples. There is a couple of treats for the kids as well. But I've tried to hopefully spend it wisely and put it towards things that will help everybody and hopefully things that will last a little while as well. Uh, first of all, you'll see I picked up some, this is just laundry soap. I like um, getting this one. It's just the cheapest one I can get. It's Coles. It's $2.80 for a four pack. I actually hand wash our dishes and I find one cake of soap usually lasts about a week here with all the, the dishes. It works out to be, I think, pretty cost effective. And I like the fact that I'm not using um, plastic with that sort of thing. So I try and, where possible, use as minimal amount of plastic if I can. So that's the first thing I picked up. I also got some Papa Dams. Uh, we like making lots of lentils and beans and Indian type food. So that's always handy to have. These were $2. And I've got two packets of the stuffy mix. If you haven't watched my two ingredient black bean burger recipe video, I'll leave that linked above. So I picked up two lots of stuffy mix and two cans of black beans as well to make some more black bean burgers. So these are a dollar each and this is a dollar 35, I think it is each. I uh, did also get something a bit different. I've been wanting to try these for ages. A big uh, glass jar of some dill cucumbers. These were $6.50 and I think once it's once I'm finished using them, I'm going to keep the jar and try and reuse it and make some more pickles in it. So I thought that would be something fun for the kids to have as well. They quite like pickles like me. <laughs> We're a weird family. <laughs> and I've got some, uh, some of these biscuits that the kids have been wanting to try for ages. They were actually on special. I can't remember the price on those. I think they're only a couple dollars. And some beetroot. We've, we were out of beetroot in Australia. It's um, very Australian <laughs> to have a slice of beetroot on your burger. So some nice beetroot. This was um, $2.35, I think, at the moment, to give you an idea on the price. And I also got two cans of butter beans. These were $1.10 each. I can actually remember when they had these for about 75 cents a can, only a couple of years ago. So that will show you how much they've put the price up. And I'm planning on making some pasta dish with that, which hopefully I might get around to recording to show you all. I did also get a few different treats here. Um, we're planning to take the kids on a little outing on the school holidays. And this is for when we go on a, a little picnic. So there's some mini rice cakes. And I did also get, there's a four pack of kombucha here as well. This was on special for $6, which was still a pretty eye-watering price if you ask me, but most of the drinks in the supermarket at the moment, they were close to the $10 mark. So it's just crazy here with the prices. Um, and this one has no sugar as well. So I was trying to pick something a little bit healthy. So there's a four pack of kombucha and also a packet of chips. And I swear the packets of chips are shrinking. <laughs> this one, I think it was about $2.30. So it's 175 grams. I can't remember how big they were before, but when I picked it up off the shelf today, I'm sure it looks smaller than what they used to. If you're in Australia, have you noticed the corn chips 
getting smaller? <laughs> Let me know. I did also get a couple packets of flour. This is SR flour. These are on special for $2 each. It actually worked out cheaper to buy the one kilogram packets rather than the two kilogram packets today. And I've got this to make um, some fritters probably. And also I want to make a couple different cakes if I get around to it. Hopefully I might even make a video to show you. So that's the flour. And thank you, Kathleen. Uh, you wanted me to get the kids some cereal. So the kids have picked out a few different things. They've got some of the crunchy oat clusters, a strawberry one. Uh, this was half price. It was, I think it was about $4.25. And some wheat bix, but this one's got the wild berries in it. And these were about $4.50. And the Nutri Grain, my kids love. This is a massive pack. And it's almost a kilogram, actually. It was on special for. $7.50 I think. It had about 30% off today. So that was all the bits and pieces. Oh and sorry I forgot tomato sauce. We're out of tomato sauce. So this one was on special for $3 today. So that's all the little bits and pieces I got extra this week in my mini grocery haul to go with what we got from the food pantry and that will just help us stretch um, the meals out a bit more give me a few options to make a different few different things as well so yeah that's everything i got <laughs> so that's all my shopping at the food pantry and shopping at the supermarket for this week and that will help us out with what we've got at home already in the freezer and some things that we've got on hand already in the cupboard in the pantry to feed us for another week Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that was interesting for you all this week. A few different things to see there. And let me know what you do with some of the food that I've got today or if you've got any different recipe ideas. Until next time, everyone, take care.